to be a union, you have to be an employee. And so if you Got are it. designated an employee, then you can be a part of a union, um, which now a union has more potential for antitrust exemption and all of those things, protections from the courts to collectively bargain on behalf of its members. A lot of the the feedback we get is, well, it's it's you guys are a players association, you're not a union. We our chapters have the ability to become a union like this That's right. if and when our a- athletes become employees. So there's no real reason for us to be a union today because athletes are employees. Our flexible infrastructure by us organizing athletes. So every time an athlete comes in, they're organized into a chapter based off their sport and their conference. Um, those chapters can be the launch pin. So, so imagine this, if we were a union right now, um, and all those USC athletes became employees, then maybe we could just be able to serve those USC athletes and we couldn't serve everybody else. By us having this flexible structure, now if those USC athletes are employees, boom, that chapter can become a union if it's the best decision for those athletes. And they will help us make that decision. Um, They'll be educated on it and they'll help us make it. And then we still have the infrastructure to serve all the other athletes and advocate for what is best in their interests as well too.